25 minutes until the top of the hour. So glad to have with us, uh, really spearheading the conversation, Allie Tower. She's unpacking her story. She's a former witch, and uh, she really was deep into, into witchcraft. And her story is chronicled in the book Taken from the Night, but also she's got a new book out called From the Craft to Christ. Now, I've, I've posted a link to her uh, website on her Facebook page. And feel free, as always, to comment on what we're talking about here on the air via Facebook. Kurt Goff Live, that's K-U-R-T-G-O-F-F Live on Facebook. And Allie, you mentioned that um, you knew the Word of God as you were getting deeper and deeper into witchcraft. I mean, this, this is crazy. Did We were talking about the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, was it ever uttered in any of these rituals, in any of the conversations, um, or was it forbidden? Well, it wasn't um, uttered in rituals. It wasn't something that we talked about, you know, that we used actual, actually in ritual. But in conversations between, you know, other pagans that um, that I was around and part of, there, there were times that we did speak uh, about Jesus. In fact, there was one time, as crazy it may seem, but I um, sat down at my high priestess's house, and we actually watched um, Jesus during Easter time. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you know, in, in our mind's eye, we tend to think, wow, if somebody's involved in witchcraft and you bring up the name of Jesus, they kind of cower, they, they feel uncomfortable. Not necessarily the case then? Not necessarily the case at all. Um, you know, I, I do think that that spiritually speaking, the name of Jesus is is something that maybe you know inside of us and our spirit does kind of like like there's like a little uh, knife that kind of jabs in there. But for the most part, it wasn't something you know. I know that I've heard in the past where you say the name of Jesus and you know they run away. Not at all. Really? See, that's that's one of those stereotypes that uh, we tend to grab onto that may not be the case. All right, so let's, uh, you, you mentioned the rituals. I have to ask you about this. Would this involve anything like animal sacrifice or anything along those lines? Uh, not at all. Not not in Wicca. Uh, Wicca is really mostly, uh, rituals would be very um, ceremonial, for one, and there would be incense and candles. Um, the The practices would be using herbs, and um, invoking gods and goddesses. I see. So it, 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 it's not necessarily like Satanism, is it? No, it's not like Satanism at all. There's, there's no, there's, there is. You know, I wouldn't say there's never a bad side to Wicca, but for the most part, it's completely opposite of anything that you would ever expect when you hear you know, about Satanism and all the horror stories and things of hmm. that nature. It's it's really not that like that at all. So you were taking steps, step by step, getting in deeper and deeper. Did you ever have an encounter that was just that moment where you knew you had taken a step into the dark side and you knew it, you knew that you knew it, but you did it anyway? I think I did that quite often, actually. You know, there were there were many times when, you know, having had been a Christian, even though I felt, you know, that God had abandoned me and that, that I was doubting the Word of God, I still knew the Word of God. So, you know, there were many times in in my life in different situations where, you know, I would engage in a ritual or a spell or, or you know, and would fit would just sense, you know, I knew that I was doing wrong and I was doing it anyway. So it, it's not, you know, it's not something that I could say, you know, I was unaware of what I was doing. I didn't know it was wrong because I did, you know, in my spirit, I did know that where I was walking was a dangerous place and it was a place that was separating me from God. But in, in the place that I was, I continued to do that. And I think, you know, if I were to think of one specific moment there was there was a point where um we were actually I was with my coven and we were doing a ritual and and I really had this sense to feel that and kind of strangely in a parallel of scripture that there was going to be you know where we talk about the end times it was like 
in in our ritual we were talking about times similar when there were going to be a lot of catastrophes that were happening in the world around us. Yeah. And and somehow having this sense that we had a part in that to help people through the difficult time. And I, I knew at that point that I was making a decision that I was going to be separated from God for eternity. And, mm. and somehow I was okay with that. It's so crazy. Wow. But I kind of came to that place where I accepted that. Boy, the deception can be, well, really deceptive. That's the nature of it.